Hello everybody, RabbitsMore here. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a Blaze XP farm. I had a couple comments in my Let's Play world asking how I built mine, so I'm just going to go over that. So let's get right into it. So if you're going to be finding one in your world, in your Nether Fortress, I would recommend, if you have multiple choices, to use the one that's kind of underground in the nether rack so that gas can't shoot at you, and a couple of potions of fire resistance to make your life easier. So, once you find your blaze spawner, obviously I'm on peaceful so I don't need to worry about them spawning, but we need to turn off their ability to spawn, and the easiest way to do that for a blaze spawner is just block off all the sides where they can spawn with blocks. So, what I would do first is mark the top of your spawner here with some sort of block that you'll be able to tell is different from the other blocks around it. So I'm going to use glowstone for mine. And then we're going to go ahead and build out three on each side here. And then we're going to connect those into a square. And just do this all the way around. Alright, and then we're going to do the same thing on the next layer up. We're going to just build the exact same square, one up, doing that all the way around here. Alright, so now we have it in case and Again, this is blocking off how the blazes spawn. Since there's a block there, they won't be able to spawn. And again, make sure you use a different block on top of your spawner so you can keep track of where that is so you don't accidentally break it later. And we need to extend this one more in each direction here. But the best way to do it is to look at our coordinates, our x, y, z there on the left side. We want to walk in the direction that when we walk that way, it lowers the x and the z. So since our z is negative, we actually want that to go up. And that will show when that is decreasing and it looks like it's this way for us. You can see the X goes down as we walk this way and the Z also goes down as we go this way. Another easy way to tell is if you look down below the coordinates where it says facing it'll say towards negative X and then when I look this way it says towards negative Z so you want to combine both of those and go this direction and then we just want to extend our platform one more in this direction here all the way down each of these sides here. Alright so next we just need to build our walls around the outside here and if you're in survival, you're going to have to do a bit of digging around and pillaring to go down to the outsides here. But what we want to do is build a four tall wall on the outside here. So it's going to be the two blocks, and then one on top and one on bottom. And we can go ahead and build our corner up here as well. And what some people like to do is put windows on the side here. It does look better. I usually don't do it in my worlds, but it does look pretty nice if you can see the whole thing from the outside. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to do a four block tall, one on top, one on bottom, and the corner piece here. And you can do your solid block across the top here and just do windows in between like this. And we're just going to do this on all four sides here. Alright, now that that's done, we're going to go up to the top and finish off our roof. And we need a space of air here above our cobblestone, so we're going to go ahead and build up one. Do that all the way across, and then we're going to bring that all the way over and close off this entire ceiling here. So you're going to bring this whole thing across here and close this entire gap here. Alright, so once your ceiling is done here, we're going to go back down below into our bottom area here. And we're going to start placing our pistons around the side. So we're going to put four pistons on each side here. Like so. And then we're going to put a block in front of those, which can either be stairs or glass. We just want something that is considered transparent so it won't suffocate our mobs if it gets stuck on them. So I'm going to use stairs for mine here, but again, you could use glass if you wanted to. And it doesn't matter which way you orient these stairs. They could be upside down or right side up. There we go. And we just want to close off between these here. Like this, so connecting the stairs to each other with a solid block. And you're going to do this all the way around, and if you want to, it's not really necessary, but if you want to, you can go around the outside here as well and just fill in these blocks here for the sake of the looks of it. So just do this all the way around here. Alright, so now we're going to build the area where the blaze will be standing to activate these pistons here. So we're going to build down from our corner here two on each side here, and then we're going to put blocks underneath our pistons as well here and build a platform next to that and in front of that there. And we're going to do this all the way around on all four sides. Alright, so once we have that done, we can go down and build our next layer of pistons. So we're going to go down further, get our pistons again, and then we're going to do two pistons on the further block there, all the way around. And again, we're going to put 
a stair or a piece of glass in front of each of these. And go ahead and connect these to each other between the stairs. And again, if you want to, it's not necessary, but you can connect behind each of these pistons as well and do that around all four sides here. All right, and so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to build an area where they're going to be standing on. So we're going to build down two from the corner here, put a block underneath the pistons, underneath that, and then in front of there. We're going to do that on all four sides. All right, so next we need to put our pressure plates and redstone in here so that when they land on the pressure plates, it will activate our pistons. So again, if you're, near, if you're in survival, you might want to just pillar up here and stand in the center and place these. But what we're going to do is put pressure pads out in front of each of these pistons here where the stairs are. And same with these ones down here. And then we're going to put repeaters on each of these so that when they step on these, it'll activate the stair and push them out into the center here, like that. So repeaters on each of these. And on these top ones here, I would put repeaters in the centers. And you can actually put redstone dust on the outer ones to save on some redstone. There we go. Okay, so the next part we need to do is go back down and out of here. And we're going to extend this layer down one more here all the way around so that there's a too tall drop for the blazes coming out of here and so we have places to place our pistons around the outside here All right, and then you're going to need to place our pistons, start placing pistons here but you need to do it based on whichever side you're coming in from in your world so maybe you have a stairway out to one direction you want to pick that direction and go over here and place two pistons towards that main direction or wherever you're going to be coming into this world or to this uh, spawner area. And then we're going to go over to these sides and put two blocks there. And we're going to put glass in front of these ones. Again, this is so that it doesn't suffocate them. But it also lets you see what's in there when you're down here uh, beating up the blazes to get XP. You can look up and see which other ones are up above these. And then we're going to connect each of these up here. And again, you don't need to, but if you want, you can go ahead and block off the outside here, just for looks. Alright. And then under this wall, far wall over here, we're going to build a 2x2 two two area of sticky pistons to push them forward. So again, we're going to use a block that doesn't suffocate them here. I'm just going to go ahead and place stairs here. That should push them forward without suffocating them. And then we're going to put our pistons to the sides, like the diagonals of these other pistons here. And these are going to be the pistons that actually crush them or suffocate them. So we do want a solid block there. There we go. And then we can go ahead and connect up these corners here to make sure it traps them in. They can't escape. And we can build the floor where they're going to be sitting and being collected in this area here. And you can go ahead and extend this glass down one more so that you have an area to hit them where they can't see you here. I guess I'll go ahead and extend this all the way out for the appearance of it. We can actually leave that area open. Alright, so now we're going to start working on our redstone for this system here. So I broke out a couple blocks here so we could see easier. We're going to go over to our pistons here that are smashing our blazes. Put a block beneath them. And then below those we want a redstone torch like that. And then we're going to go ahead and connect these going beneath them with just redstone dust. And we'll connect that later on into our system. Then we're going to go off to our side pistons here. We're going to put a block in front of that one there, go up and then back down and over. And break out these two blocks here and then we're going to put a corner piece like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side here. So on there, up and back down break out these two and put a piece there. What we want to do here is put redstone dust going into this so it powers those center pistons and put a repeater here and redstone dust and we're going to do this all the way around to connect up both the sides here so we're just going to put redstone dust and again on this side it's going to be a repeater, redstone dust, redstone dust so those are set up now so we just need to hook up our back 2x2 two two set of pistons here. 
what we want to do here is build out two blocks here and then we're going to put repeaters on here and we're going to set all of these to the furthest setting so that they're on a long delay and then we just need to hook this up to our top system here so we're going to need redstone there, there and we'll staircase it up here like that so now when these activate all of the pistons will activate together and the back ones will be on a delay there Alright, so now we just need to add our wall here that's going to have buttons on it to turn this thing on and off, or to crush them and then reset it. So you can pick either side here that you want, and we're going to build down from the corner there. I guess I can go ahead and plug these up for now. But we're going to pick the corner here, build a wall out and over, and then we're going to get some buttons. There we go. And we're going to have a button here and here. So this one's going to activate the system and this one's going to reset it. So we need to go back behind these and start building our wiring for this. And this is for each of the buttons here. So this one's going to come out too and it's going to go up into an RS NOR latch here. So we're going to build it like this here. And what we're going to do is put a redstone torch here, one underneath, and then that's going to have redstone dust on top and right here. So this will basically have a toggleable state by using the buttons around the around the side here and we're going to connect this one here up to our redstone on our side here so we're just going to push that over and we're going to use a repeater here and redstone dust so now when this gets toggled it'll toggle all of our pistons as well here okay so now we can hook up our redstone from our buttons here so what we're going to do is bring this one over using redstone dust on this far one and on the other one we're going to do redstone dust and a repeater here so it toggles our RS NOR latch and so when we turn it on it looks like we might have missed a piece of redstone around the back there yeah so go back around here place this block I guess I forgot this early on so make sure you do that so that it activates all of our pistons so now you can see everything is activated and we press the reset it will reset everything there so now we just need to hook this up to our crusher so we're going to go where we just place this repeater here we're going to bring the signal down one here and again bring it down and over and then this is going to go over again so it's kind of a zigzag here and this is going to be going into a sticky piston as part of a hopper timer so I'm just going to clear out some space here first so that's going to go straight into a sticky piston just going into a redstone block and then we're going to put a normal piston with a gap between these here and now we can place our hoppers for our hopper timer. So shift right click these into each other. And then we're going to want comparators on either side of these hoppers. Going into a block. And then a piece of dust in this corner here. There we go. And this side already has dust on the other side so you don't need to worry about that. And we're going to put 25 blocks in this hopper here since that's going to be part of our timer that sets it long enough to let me just go ahead and get rid of some blocks here there we go so now I have 25 so put 25 of whatever you want in here cobblestone or whatever you have available and that's gonna set it so it's just long enough to crush the blaze down till their one hit punch to kill them which is exactly what we want for this farm and this should run single cycle here so now our hopper timer is set up for our system and we just need to set it up from this part here into our crusher system so we're gonna dig down here and go beneath all of this until we can see our redstone here there we go and what we're gonna do here let me get some repeaters so I just got rid of those we're gonna bring our signal around from this side I'm gonna place it on quartz here so it's easier to see there we go so we're going to want at least four repeaters here set to full so that it's delayed on our crusher system here. And we're definitely going to need a repeater going by this part here so it doesn't connect up to the redstone. So we're going to want one set to full, a second one, a third, and a fourth. So there we go. And then the rest of this can be dust here. So now when the hopper timer switches over, it will activate our crushers and then turn them off after the 25 blocks have gone through. So it's a single cycle there. Alright, I just realized that I forgot that we do need to invert our system here. So what we're going to do is go where our hopper timer is hooked up here. Oops, I still want that block. 
I'm going to break that redstone out, keep the redstone up top here, and we're just going to place a torch on the side here. So now when this gets powered, it will actually invert the system. So now when we go activate our system, it will push the blazes forward, activate our crusher for the 25 blocks that are in here. And once that's finished, it will open up the crusher here so that you can punch the blaze and get your XP from them or your drops. And that's pretty much it. And when you're done, your other blazes will be on top of that glass. You can just press the reset button. It'll drop the rest down here. And that's pretty much it. The system's done here. So the other things you can do from here on is just, you know, make it look a little nicer, build a platform area so where, where you're going to be standing or you can cover up your redstone on the sides here, build other walls. But other than that, you're good to go. You have your blaze XP farm. The last thing you want to do is go up and break out your cobblestone and the glowstone that was up here. And again, you need to be really careful when you're doing this part that you don't accidentally break the spawner itself because you can't get that back unless you cheat. But other than that, go ahead and break everything out and you can place two blocks above the spawner there since we don't want them getting stuck on top of that. And you'll break out all the rest of this cobblestone and it's good to go. Blazes will start spawning and coming down into your system. You can crush them. They'll get down to one hit away from getting their experience and their drops, and then you just reset it. It's good to go. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have an excellent day, and see you later.